Hey everybody, uh, how's it going? Doing something a little different. This week, um, I'm out in the hills right now, but uh, I recorded some gear maintenance videos back home, and uh, yeah, just thought, um, I've had a hard time kind of finding some of that info out there, so thought I'd compile a few things for you. I got one on cleaning the sensor of your camera, which if you're anything like me is a little scary the first time you do it. Got a video on uh, cleaning up some lenses and a video on doing filters and uh, just some accessories for cleaning. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll be back to regular content soon, but uh, thought I would just make you stay inside with me for a little while. So uh, enjoy. This has to be one of the scariest things to clean as uh, you know, it's fairly sensitive in there and Scratch your sensor. I mean, there's not really any coming back from that. Uh, this thing's going back off to Canon. There's a couple different things I do. Uh, start with just a blower. Uh, this, you know, ten bucks. Get a nice big one so you get some, you know, some real airflow out of there. Uh, Mega chastise for this, but I usually will um, with the mirror down, like this. Hold it upside down so any dust that's settling isn't going back in. Let's blow that out real good inside. I'm looking at um, kind of this area around the contacts. Spot where I always see dust show up is kind of right here uh, on the ground glass that's going up to your viewfinder. Uh, and then you have your mirror. So um, it's just good. It's good to keep this kind of cleaned out. And then on my 5D, all I do is I just make sure I'm on, hit my live view button. That uh, opens up the mirror to the sensor there. Give that a couple quick blows. You want to be careful because uh, what you're doing is creating static electricity with this. So uh, if you do it wrong, you're actually attracting more dust to the sensor. Um, so you want to be careful with that. But anyway, I uh, got that done. So we're kind of blown out in here. I've actually, uh, my mirror is fairly clean, so I'm not going to get into that. But it's just another thing to look at sometimes when you're if you're seeing dust through your viewfinder, it's either on the back element of your lens, on your mirror, on the back side of your viewfinder here. So it's always good to check all of those places. Um, but as far as getting into the nitty gritty of cleaning the sensor, got two things here. Uh, they're both visible dust. Um, I'm gonna see if I can throw links to these in the description for you too. Uh, it's a two piece system, so you have your actual uh, formula comes in this little bottle here. And that's about 25 bucks. And it's about 35 bucks for a 12 pack of these swabs. And you wanna get these in the right size for your sensor too, whether you're ASPC or full frame. Um, and it feels like quite an investment the first time you do it, but it's a lot cheaper than sending it back in to get cleaned. And it's just good, good practice to keep it clean. So um, what I will do, Pick a side, two drops of liquid. Give it just a second to, I got a little flyaway hair here, soak in. And then I will turn on my live view. And I'm, I usually would do this up upside down, but I want you guys to get, get a decent look at it. This is the same width uh, as the sensor is tall. So I'm gonna get it in there nice and clean. Once I turn, I'll start on one side of the sensor and I'll just do one solid wipe across. Okay. Then, just for fun, I'm going to do another two drops onto this guy. Again, let it soak in. And the same direction, I'm just going to get this in here and one nice solid swipe across. Okay, I'm gonna close it up here. They, uh, they sell these nice loops that are uh, magnification and they have lights kind of all around them in a ring light, but I just have my headlamp. Um, it's good, just uh, once you're done, kind of take a peek in there. Yeah, and we're looking nice and clean. Um, if you have not, Felt like you've had problems in the past. Uh, I'm gonna bring up an old picture here. Uh, this is a panorama I took, and 
all of those circles in there are uh, edits I've made to take out the dust. I went up, I had probably nine little spots of dust on the sensor, and uh, once you stitch together a 16-piece panorama, those nine dots turn into, I don't know, a billion. <laughs> um, so this might seem kind of expensive, kind of time-consuming, but it's really good practice to take good care of your gear, and uh, yeah, it saves you a lot of time in the long run, um, especially when you're stitching together photos. If you're not going through there and spending two hours of your time just deleting dust, you don't go quite as crazy. Yeah, any questions, hit me up in the comments, but uh, it's been fun hanging out, and I'll uh, see you again next week.